Hello, peace everyone. Welcome to your little pick me up yoga class. We're going to be starting in an easy seat. So go ahead and take the time you need to find the most comfortable seat for yourself today. Maybe you're sitting directly on your mat. Maybe you're finding a yoga block to sit on top of or a pillow or blanket. Whatever makes you feel most comfortable today. And so once you find this pose for yourself, we're just going to take a couple shoulder rolls. So we're going to inhale as we raise our shoulders forward and up towards our ears. And exhale as we roll them back and down. Taking three more of these to the back, inhale forward and up. And exhale back and down. Inhale up. Exhale down one last time. Inhale forward and up. And exhale back and down. Good. We're going to reverse to go the other way. So we're going to inhale as we raise our shoulders back and up towards our ears. And exhale forward and down. Inhale up. Exhale forward and down. Inhale back and up. Exhale forward and down. One last cycle. Inhale forward. Exhale down. Good. So from here, we're going to find our knees with our hands. And just using this pressure as you press against your knees, we're going to inhale as we shine our heart forward. And exhale as we round out our back. Good. Taking a couple seated cat cows, you can take these on your own time. And just make sure you're utilizing your breath here. Imagining your breath guiding you through these movements. As if your breath is the captain and you're just riding on the ship of your body. I'm taking one last round wherever you are. Inhale and exhale. Good. Go ahead and meet me in a neutral seat. We're going to find the mat with our right hand and lower down onto our forearms and elbows and reach that left arm up and overhead. So we're making sure that we're continuing to press our shoulders away from our ears as we stretch over to the right with that left hand. So you can feel free to look down at the ground or you can look up towards that left hand. It's your choice. And just make sure that we are grounding our left glute into the mat. We want to make sure that our hips are even here. I'm taking one last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Meeting me back in a neutral seat and reversing to the left. So finding the mat with your left hand, lowering down onto that elbow, the forearms, and reaching up and over with that right arm. So paying attention to your shoulders, making sure that we are pressing them down, and also paying attention to our hips, making sure that they are aligned with each other. And returning to our breath as always, allowing it to guide us. Taking one last deep breath here, inhale. And exhale. Good. You can go ahead and meet me back in a neutral seat. And once we get here, we are just going to transition into a tabletop position. So making sure our wrists are directly under our shoulders and our knees are directly under our hips. And taking your time to get here. But once you do, we're just going to take a couple cat cows. So as we press into the earth, we're going to lower our belly, drop that energy into the earth. Inhale and exhale, rounding out our back into a cat. 
Good, taking a couple more of these, inhale, dropping your belly, and exhale, rounding out your back, contracting. Good. Taking these on your own time, always listening to your body, honoring whatever it needs today. Maybe try challenging yourself to undulate your spine as much as possible. Maybe imagining each vertebrae as you shift between cat and cow. I always like to take these really slowly just to become more aware of my body from the inside out. Even closing your eyes helps. And taking one last round wherever you are. And you can meet me in a neutral tabletop position, neutral spine. Good, so once we get here, we're going to inhale as we raise that right arm up off of the mat. And exhale, threading that arm through and laying the right side of your face down onto the mat. Good, so our hips are still facing upwards towards the heavens. And just allowing your body to melt into the earth. Releasing any tension that we do not need in this pose. Maybe using each exhale to release down further into the earth. And taking one more breath, inhale and exhale. Good, raising that right arm back up off of the mat, peeling it up and placing it back down to a neutral tabletop. Good, just reversing over to the other side. So we're going to inhale as we peel that left arm up off of the mat and exhale, threading that arm through, laying down the left side of your face onto the earth now. And once again, just releasing any tension that we do not need. Maybe taking a moment to do a little body scan. Become aware of any tension that you're holding and intentionally release it. And taking one last deep breath, inhale and exhale. Good, peeling that left arm up off of the mat once again and placing it back down to a neutral tabletop. Good, so once we get here, we're going to walk our arms out to the front of the mat and lay down our heart and our forehead down into the earth. So meeting me in puppy pose. And once we're here, you have the choice to maybe tuck your toes underneath for some extra support, relieving any stress from your knees, or you can leave them untucked, whatever feels best for your body. And so discovering puppy pose and also taking whatever variation your body needs. And of course, you're more than welcome to close your eyes to help you connect deeper, deeper to your practice, deeper inside yourself, deeper inside your mind.
and taking one more breath here. Good, whenever you're ready, returning back to a neutral tabletop position. Taking your time to get here. And once you do, we're going to tuck our toes underneath us if they're not tucked already. And we're going to lift our knees up off of the mat about two inches. So keeping our spine straight and elongated. And keeping our core tight, we're going to inhale here. And exhale, releasing your knees back down. Good, so we can shift back to sit on top of our knees and just shaking out our wrists. And doing whatever we need to do. Shaking them out, maybe pulling our fingertips back. Listening to your wrists. What do they need right now? And honoring that. Just take a few more moments to do whatever you need to do. And when you're ready, you can meet me back in your tabletop. And once we get back here in tabletop, tucking our toes underneath and lifting our knees up two inches one last time. So creating a bit of fire here in our core, creating stability, a strong foundation for our practice. Staying strong here, taking a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Good, you can release your knees back down onto the mat. Maybe shaking out your feet behind you. And whenever you're ready, tucking your toes one last time and lifting your hips up off of the mat, meeting me in your downward facing dog. So it is totally fine for your knees to bend here. Remembering that it is not about how our body looks in any pose. It's about how we feel and what connections we're making within our practice. So we also want to make sure that our shoulders are pressed away from our ears. So as if we're pressing into the earth with our hands and grounding our heels into the earth as well. It is okay if your heels don't touch but that is the goal here. So you can take a couple walks here. So stretching out each calf muscle, stretching out each arch of your feet, and also incorporating your breath. Maybe inhale as you press down that right heel, and exhale as you press down the left heel, just alternating. Good, so meeting me back in your neutral downward dog. And once we get here, we're going to roll out our spine to come into a high plank. So rolling out one vertebrae at a time until you meet me in your high plank. And once we get here, staying strong, holding for one breath, inhale. And exhale, staying here. We're going to bring our right knee to our right elbow and replacing it left knee to left elbow, replacing it, and shifting our hips back up into the heavens, coming into your downward facing dog. Good, so we're actually gonna take about two more of these rounds. So rolling out your spine, meeting me in your high plank. Inhale, and exhale. Good, bringing your right knee to right elbow, return left knee to left elbow return good shifting back to downward facing dog and taking the cycle one last time rolling out your spine meeting me in your high plank staying strong as we inhale exhale right knee to right elbow return left knee to left elbow Return, good. Go ahead and shift your hips back up to your downward facing dog. And once we get here, we're actually going to walk our hands back to our feet as we bend our legs and meeting me in Malasana, your garland pose. 
so our heels are shifting down into the earth our knees are wide open towards the sides of the mat and we're going to press into the earth with that right arm and lift that left arm up off of the mat into the heavens and you can look up towards that left hand as well if this helps your body So sinking our pelvic floor into the earth even deeper, utilizing your breath to allow you to relax into this pose. And you can replace that left arm, grounding it into the earth and lifting that right arm up into the heavens. And grounding that right hand back into the earth good from here we can either keep our hands planted depending on where you are in your practice or you can lift both arms up in front of heart center bringing them into a prayer position so once again just sinking those hips even deeper expanding those knees even wider and sinking those heels even deeper into the earth as well. And taking a couple more breaths here in your malasana. And you can go ahead and find the mat with your hands and we're going to shift our hips up into the heavens and straightening our legs coming into our forward fold and once we get here we can grab a hold of each elbow keeping our knees as bent as they need and just shifting right to left allowing your upper body and your spine to hang over those legs And just taking this time now to feel the sensation of blood rushing to your head. Maybe become aware of your breath. The most subtle aspects of your practice. How do they feel? And slowly bringing the swinging to a stop. We're going to bend our knees generously and we're going to roll up our spine and you can meet me in a mountain pose. Taking your time to get here and truly stacking each vertebrae on top of your hips, on top of your shoulders, sitting on top of your head. Good. so once we get here in our mountain pose we're going to find our left inner thigh with our right foot meeting me in a tree pose so shooting a line of energy through your left foot and grasping a hold of roots into the earth staying strong in this foundation and bringing the palms of our hands together in front of heart center and you have the choice to either keep your hands here or we can raise them up overhead. And if they are up overhead, go ahead and bring them back down to your prayer in front of your heart. And releasing that leg, grounding it down back to your mountain pose. Good, so we're going to reverse over to the other side, so finding your right inner thigh with your left foot, bringing your hands to prayer in front of heart center, and taking whatever variation of tree pose your body is asking of you today. If your arms are up overhead, go ahead and bring them back down into a prayer in front of your heart. Releasing that foot back down and grounding it into the earth, meeting the other. 
Good, so finding your prayer in front of your heart center. We're going to inhale as we raise our arms up overhead. And exhale, stretching both arms over to the right, staying grounded in both feet equally. And inhale as we raise our arms up overhead. And exhale, stretching over to the left. Once again, inhale, raising arms up overhead. And exhale, you can forward fold from here. Good. So once we get here in our forward fold, we're going to bend our knees all the way down, meeting me in a tabletop position. And once you get here in your tabletop, just bringing your big toes together behind you, expanding your knees out to the side, shifting your hips back into a child's pose. So go ahead and relax your forehead down into the mat. Bending your elbows as much as you need. And just hanging out here for a couple of breaths in child's pose. Taking these last few moments of this practice for yourself, maybe to connect deeper, become aware of the subtle aspects as we did earlier, or maybe just allowing your mind to rest. It is okay not to have any intentions. It is okay to just be here in our practice. And you can go ahead and shift your glutes over to one side, swinging your legs around and meeting me in an easy seat right where we started in the beginning. So taking your time to find a comfortable seat for yourself. And before we end our practice, let us take a moment of gratitude for our bodies for carrying us through our practice. Let us also take a moment of gratitude to the teachers who come before us and of course gratitude for ourselves for showing up today. Thank you all so much for joining me in our little pick me up yoga class. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Blessings.